Hello and welcome to episode 6 of our Timberborn Update 5 playthrough in hard mode with the Folktales faction here at Cycle 13, Day 7. At the, uh, well, near the beginning of a 16-day Bad Tide. Uh, last time we took some measures to ensure that the Bad Tides would not affect our main settlement area here. We had ourselves a little diversion channel and we got a little bit more of our industrial stuff up and running, including making some extract at least in the process of making some. We've got some work to do still with that. Uh, planted some dandelions over here and some berries and got this area up and running quite nicely for those as well. But we're going to go ahead and pause because we have a rather important problem to deal with. And that is somehow, somehow, bless their hearts, two beavers decided it would be a fun idea to go all the way around and go down this staircase. I did not think they could even get to anymore because of the uh, distance from the, the pathways. And they helped us build our centrifuge. But, um, yeah, obviously that's not ideal. And we're actually going to go ahead and take those stairs out so nobody else can do that. But we do have two contaminated beavers. Oh, that's a that's a new art that looks incredibly cursed. Um, so we got James Jeffrey and Corey Ricco both, uh, both pretty contaminated and not having a good time. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they're old enough to die before they get healed but we're gonna try and we're gonna try and fix this and here's what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to get the herbalist herbalist whatever i had somebody in the, somebody in the comments was asking why americans don't pronounce the h but i mean we kind of do i don't know L language is a weird social construct and kind of a disaster uh, of a result of a whole bunch of people just kind of deciding what things mean over a period of time so it doesn't really matter no but whatever I'm just, uh, I'm going to be more comfortable calling it an herbalist because we don't say herbs, we say herbs, which is probably stupid, but eh, whatever. Anyway, I digress massively. The herbalist, or you could just call it the medicine man, whatever, uh, takes one dandelion and one berry and two tenths of a log, two hours to make some medicine, which, or I guess antidote, cures contaminated beavers. We have the science, so let's go ahead and unlock this. And we just, oh, that's a cool new asset. I like that. Looks a little bit like the Tapper Shack. It actually looks a lot like the Tapper Shack. It is basically the, basically the same asset with slightly, slightly rescaled. Eh, looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. Uh, has a little bit of the same element of the, uh, the old healer building. Anyway, uh, let's just put this uh, for the time being. Might as well just stick this right here. That's fine. We'll get that built. We have all the materials and we do have the, where is this thing? Yeah. The gather flag right here. will be able to supply this easily and it makes the antidote. So we probably, is that something that goes in the tanks? Okay. Yep. Antidote. So we're going to want to put in another small tank and just for right now, let's put that there, set that to antidote. And we'll high prioritize the herbalist first, get that going. Because we definitely, definitely don't want our contaminated beavers to suffer any more than they absolutely have to. So, this will be the very first thing we get done today. But outside of that, uh, I've got some notes over here from your comments on the last episode. And uh, a couple of you guys want to see some more dynamiting taking place, uh, expanding industry in different spots, and taking care of uh, water supply issues. And we're going we're gonna to touch as much of that as we can. Just uh, make as much of a... Uh, progression as we can possibly do here and oh i'm gonna pause our gear workshops because we are chewing through all of our planks with a quickness and we have enough gears for right now we need to get yeah there we go we need to get a lot more of these done quickly so we're looking at that uh, we're still making tons of power relative to what we actually need so we're going to want to continue expanding out this way so I was honestly just going to completely build all the way across this whole thing you know, once we have the resources to do it and then just zoop, make this nice, boring, safe, straight line <laughs> as one does. So that's a project to consider. But what we started last time, right at the very end of the episode, was this large water pump. We're putting this in place so we can, well, pump large amounts of water. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to uh, blast this completely out where the bad tide came in. We didn't get there. We weren't able to make enough dynamite to make that really even possible. But we are going to work toward that today. Obviously, uh, you don't want to detonate anything while 
this a bad tide because that's just going to make the water that's already here go lower, and we don't want that. But we're going to get as close as we can. And then when the bad tide is over, we will send the good water back through here. All right. Herbalist is here, and it's Justin Gadbury, Beard Booster, making some antidote. And it's uh, in the process of getting completed here. It looks like we actually have some. So our contaminated beavers. Let's, uh, let's just follow old Cory around here, see what's up. The contamination level going down. Yep, they have the antidote. So we'll see how long that takes. I guess they just have to drink all of it. I actually haven't even looked at this before. So we'll find out how this works. I guess they just have to keep taking it until their uh, contamination's gone. I don't know. Interesting mechanic. I do see the contamination bar slowly decreasing. So I guess they're just getting their uh, daily dose a couple times. Just wandering around, doing a whole lot of nothing. No, I think I kind of prefer this to the, uh, the decontamination pods that the Iron Teeth have. What an interesting mechanic. All right, what, where's our uh, where's our other guy? How's he looking? Okay, about the same. Just kind of chilling. He's got some antidote. About half decontaminated. All right, so we'll check back in on those guys a little bit later after we take care of a lot of the rest of this stuff. So, right now we have plenty of food, plenty of water. Everything's looking fine. Uh, we have run out of storage for extract. And we probably need to have another uh, need to have another storage for that somewhere. So I guess guess what I should do since we're already up here. I'm gonna go ahead and put two of these here. I'm gonna make one for uh, one for extract, and then I'm gonna make one for water so we can have some drinking water in this area. Uh, this is bad water. This bad water pump obviously is pumping bad water. Uh, somebody asked why I built this over here last time. Well, that's because that's where the bad water was, and it's closest to where the centrifuge was going to be. But long term, we are going to want to put some over here because, again, this is a completely pure bad water source. Uh, no issues there, but uh, we don't have any production happening over here. And for the time being, this makes sense to have here because, well, it's a bad tide. There's bad water, and all the processing is in this. Wow, they built this quick. Yeah, but all the all the processing's here, so that's fine. In fact, if this is here, I don't need to worry about this being here either, because this is uh it can be dumb to just put it here just so we can go here. They can just walk out that way, that's okay. So this instead I think should become a bad water set to uh obtain. So that can just be right there. That's fine. Then this of course is gonna be water. Somebody also made a comment about, hey, you don't have any uh, any log storage over here, and you are correct, I don't. That is not something I have put in place, so let's do that. i just put this right here, logs set to obtain, and that's going to fuel these, well, not fuel them, I guess, technically. But we needed log storage over here, something fierce, because we've got a lot of trees that need to be harvested, and they really didn't have anywhere to go. So we'll uh, we'll take care of that. All right, we have tons of berries here. And I think what I want to do, uh, this over here is probably eventually going to need to become maple trees, but I'm not going to get rid of this stuff quite yet. What I was thinking of doing, somebody left a, a comment, among other things, saying, hey, you should uh, you should do a little checkerboard of your, uh, your stuff over here. So why don't we actually do that? We'll, uh, we'll just kind of... Uh, If it's not going to let me click, there we go. Take every other thing out here. And I will just populate these with... Well, not, not this whole area, but this little bit right here should be enough dandelions for us to actually utilize. And just keep a nice little checkerboard going. Now, obviously, they're going to take their time to uh, actually get all this done, but that might look nice long term at least. I don't think we're going to be so hard up for dandelions that we're going to need to have a ton of them, but we definitely want to have everything in place 
so that they can actually do stuff. Now this is deprioritized. There's nobody planting anything. Well, now there is. I think. Maybe. Yeah, that works okay. Got water stored there. We got this still not built yet. Oh, because I have the gears paused. Duh. We do need to have this uh, unpaused for sure. Uh, explosives we're going to need another storage for. Yeah, but I just need to have the rest of the gears actually uh, put in for that. Now, one thing we're going to want to do, now that we have the dynamite, we have a little bit of extract. Well, we have almost 100. I'm going to start... What did I say I was going to do? Oh, 900 double dynamite. That's right. All right, so we don't have contaminated beavers anymore. Let's check our... Okay. Cory Rico died of old age. And... I don't see the other one dying of old age, so let's check our beaver roster here. That was... I believe it was uh, James Jeffrey? Yeah, okay, look at that. All cured. All right, modern medicine, how about that? But I guess the, uh, I guess the other one was old enough that it's just... Uh, finished, I guess we could say. All right, so good thing we took care of that. Double dynamite need to... There we go. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not going to set this off yet, but I am going to start getting this put in place. Because we want to be ready. I, I am going to continue uh, putting the paths in here. We do want to be ready for when it actually is time to have this stuff fully detonated. We want this to be as deep as it can be and still be accessible. That's the goal. So what I'm going to do here is these are going to go down two, and then where the straw goes in, that's going to go down one more so the water is always going into that. I think that is the, uh, I think that's the best way to handle this. So we'll let them take care of that. We're also going to, up here, lower this by one. Actually, no, since we already have the double dynamite, we might as well lower this by two just to get that over with. Yeah, so we'll just have this whole thing all good to go. We're going to go through so much dynamite, it's not even funny. But that's okay. We are obviously going to get the rest of this where the path is blasted out as well. I just wanted to give them something to do with all of this dynamite, since literally all it takes at this point is just bad water. There's no reason not to be making just an unfathomable amount of dynamite. We should be making just inordinate amounts of explosives. So let's, uh, there we go. Let's just build one of these. All right, so that's looking good. Power generation's looking good. Um, scrap metal storage, we don't really... Uh, See, I don't really want to have a ton of it because we don't really need to be hoarding it because it's right here. We just need to be making more scrap or well, more metal blocks, which they kind of are doing. Uh, planks are kind of a problem. We need to be making more of those. So I'm going to continue having this go out this way. Actually, because of how this is set up, I'm going to go ahead and take these out. And I'll just save, just save a little bit here. That's going to give us space for three more. Three more lumber mills, which I am either going to build as lumber mills, or I might put another one of these uh, gear workshops in place. But I can tell you we, oh, I don't even, this guy doesn't need to be here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Well, that's one beaver job we get back nicely. And we definitely, definitely want to have another lumber mill in place here. So we'll do that. There we go. They got that taken care of. And then I can also... Not that we really need to have that much more power, but we are going to want it eventually. I'm going to put one of these back here and then here as well. And I'm going to completely fill this up uh, once we get to that point. We're just not quite there yet. So I'll take care of all of that. Oh, look at us. Look at us go right here. Five and a half days left, we'll get that knocked down. It looks like we have 
Oh, I could have put could have put another dandelion there. So we'll get rid of that. I'll replace this with a dandelion, and then I think we're gonna be okay. Good to go, and I can actually uh, have this be the gatherer flag we use, or I could just keep this paused and let the uh, let the things grow as they will. I guess there's not really any reason to be that worried about it. Let's unplant these. Ah, uh, yes. I thought they had deleted them, but no, that's just what it looks like. That's fine. Is anyone going to come uh, come take care of this? No? Are they going to plant the rest of these trees? Or are they completely out of... Uh... Okay, there we go. That's what that was. I don't know if anyone's going to actually get rid of this. They might not. They might not. And look, our little water retention areas are working fantastically. Right here is looking a little bit dry, but obviously it's not dry enough to kill the plants, so that's fine. I guess they're just going to ignore this probably because they have all this other stuff going on, so we're going to leave it alone. It's not really that big of a deal. Now, another thing that people have been concerned about is dynamiting out this spillway, which uh, we probably do need to do, but uh, presently, uh, I'm not really that worried by it. I am, however going to uh, go ahead and just because oh, I, I don't want the beavers to go down in there so I think oh I think I'm going to have to have nope 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 there we go yeah I think I'm going to have to have them go up this hill which I mean we oh hello we might want to anyway but I absolutely do not want them going down into the water. So I think to have this like so is going to be fine just to connect everything. Should allow them to get up there. Because I also want to raise these levees and I I do want to replace these floodgates with triples just in case. Although if it's high enough to flood over this then it's going to be high enough to flood over this and I don't think that's going to be uh, something we want to mess with. But having this open at least slightly to get to the outside, it should help prevent any sort of complete catastrophic flood from occurring here. But uh, again, we have so much stuff happening over here. Uh, see, I, I kind of want them to focus on this, so I guess I don't want to mess with that. But this right here, pretty much this entire everything can be deprioritized. That is just not relevant. Yeah, they can focus on building everything else first. Even though they have uh, a, couple, a couple hundred dynamite down here. They probably should be doing at some other point in time. So I, I guess I'll just go ahead and deprioritize these so they try to do a little bit more of something else. You know, just because we have so much other stuff going on. Yeah, so they'll take care of that eventually when they feel like it. We probably, I mean, we're really not that far from the center of the spiral now. We probably should at some point attempt to come up here and uh, I guess make another district center, but it's not really that big of a deal currently, I don't think. It is nice to know that we're close. I just remember that first time I played the old Helix Mountain map, it was a huge deal to get to the center of the Helix because you start so low and so far away from everything. Like, I'm pretty sure... I guess if, if we're counting the, the way that I would have looked at the old map, like the center of the helix was like over here, and then you start way over here, and the helix was way higher than than this is. Either that or that was just only the second playthrough of the game I'd done, and everything just seemed more crazy than it actually is. I don't know. I guess the jury's out on that. But everything is looking pretty pretty good. We probably could use some more uh, wood harvesting. These guys are working, but they don't have any storage over here, and that's something we really should have taken care of uh, when we first started. So we actually want to have a place over here we can put some wood. And I unfortunately have not done a great job of planning that out. I think it might... It might end up being better for us to actually remove. Uh, we, we don't need these blueberries, let's be honest. They're, they're just planted because they were here. It might be a good idea for us to just 
right here at the end of this path. Just get rid of those. And then right here we can put in a, uh, a nice pile to put some logs in. Because right now these guys are going all the way across the map to find uh, a place for a log in these piles. And we just we just don't need that. We need to have one nearby to here where they can put a, uh, put a bunch of them as a source for all the other ones to pull from. So I guess we have to wait for them to come do this stuff. I probably, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll just... I'll speed that up and I can get that one too while we're at it. What else are they uh what else are they working on over here? I guess building all of this stuff, which is, you know, it's fine. It's needed. That is a okay. Actually, this right here. Yeah, I'm gonna just get rid of these guys. Because this needs to be storage for these warehouses. That's that's going to be good to have that access there. So we might actually, uh, I keep forgetting I don't have, I don't have the industrial piles like the, uh, the iron teeth have. So I've, I've got to plan it out just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. We'll get there though. Wow. This already, already spread there. That, that is potent. Yeah. Let's, um, let's get rid of that expeditiously. Uh, Dandelion goes here. Now we can put in... Oh, you know what I should do? I don't have the science. I was going to say I should put an underground pile here, but maybe we can come back and do one later. This needs to be set to supply. There we go. That's going to work very well, or at least better. So we have plenty of wood here. We just can't really harvest it because of how stuff is set up. Chestnuts are looking good. Storage is not quite full. on The grilled variants. Uh, carrots, for some reason, we aren't able to... Uh, aren't able to quite get as many so oh this was um this was sunflowers i don't know why i planted these here we really don't need them we aren't even making enough so i think for right now yeah this this is not really not really relevant right now but i'm gonna replant this as carrots i think we already have tons of potatoes that's not a problem yeah, so we'll just, uh, we'll be intelligent about things. And yes, of course, I have not forgotten. We're going to have farms and stuff over here as well. But now we're going to have a chance to have the good water come down and automatically open our floodgates, which uh, we have not attached. Well, we did attach this one to this one. The one I was th actually thinking about was right here. This guy should probably probably be attached to a stream gauge but I haven't done that yet okay so this is actually there we go there we go we want that to start filling up first one of these was set to, there we go so when a bad tide starts it goes to 1.5 when the drought ends it goes to one when a bad tide ends it should go to one there we go that's our super uh that's our super What's the word? Scientific. Whatever thing for this. I should automate this, but eh, it's fine. Waiting on that good stuff to come down. It looks like this is just about, yep, 2%. Should see this open shortly. There we go. And this should do the same when it gets down to zero. And there it goes. Very cool. And then that fills that little bit up. There we go. Going to open that so this can refill. It's all looking very good. We've got a nice beginning of a nice reservoir here. Very cool. And I will leave this open. It'll shut automatically when the bad tide starts at maximum height. All right. So I love how the, uh, <laughs> the wheels in the middle don't really turn quite as well, do they? This one's turning quite quickly. All right, uh, lumber mill again here will be fine. And I think I'll leave this one on the end open for now. Although it probably wouldn't be the worst idea to put another gear workshop in. And we can build across and do the same thing on the other side and just have these wheels uh, lined up like this. But 
if we're going to channel the actual water flow, we're going to need to be a little bit more creative of how we build stuff here. All right, and they are placing these uh, dynamites in here. That's good. Um, oh, since this is good water, actually, I know I might be uh, I might be breaking the rule, but but it's it's going to make so much more sense to just do this while we can, right? Oh, that was stupid. That didn't need to go there. Yeah, but let's get this. Let's get these stairs put in place. Because I know, I know this is going to be a huge deal. We're going to get another bad tide. And it's not, not going to be fun. Although I, I figured we would have gotten another warning by now. So maybe it's not that big of a deal. I don't know. We'll see. Everything so far is looking good. We don't have any bad water to turn into extract, which is uh, bad. Uh, oh, bad water is bad. Uh, because we also can't make any more explosives, and that's going to be a problem. So I guess my hand has been forced to... Uh... Oh, this is going to take a while. That's going to be annoying. Is there anywhere closer over here? I mean, not really. I didn't think they'd go through it so fast. Huh. I got plenty of extract, but I need the bad water to make the dynamite itself. And this is already in place. Okay. All right. Well, I suppose we take a look at our waters again. There is a, not a large bad water pump I thought was interesting. There's just regular water pump, large water pump, and then you have bad water pump, but not a... Okay, well, the bad water rig, I guess, counts. But we are going to have to, uh, we're going to have to do a, uh, kind of a dumb adjacent thing, I guess is what I can call this. I hope I got the, uh, side of the doorway correct. I did not. Okay, so let's, let's move this over. Yeah, this... Uh, if I put it there, it's going to dry up in a drought. Eh, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Because it's either going to be a drought or it's going to be a bad tide. And if it's a bad tide, we can pump out of this one. And if it's a drought, then, well, you're not going to get it anyway. Because we don't have a rig set up yet. Actually, how long does it take? Oh, okay, no, we're not, we're not doing one of those today. Definitely not. All right, bad water pump here. So I suppose now this has to be the highest priority to get that built. Those are all marked. There we go. All right. So I guess that's what we're doing now with the rest of our temperate season is getting that taken care of. Because I thought this was already ready to go. Oh, I will go ahead and put that channel in for sure since that was already in place. Yeah, because we definitely want this drain to exist. But we also want to make sure that we're not going to be in a complete state of disarray. So maybe we should also be putting in... Yes. I'm just going to make this a uh, set of double floodgates. Not triples. I'm not going not gonna to worry about that. But we do need to be able to stop water from leaving that way. Okay, so just a regular drought in three days. So if that's the case, then we don't want to put this here. We want it to go further out so the straw can be down in the hole itself. So I'm kind of glad we didn't actually get to that. Oh, well, that's going to be too high anyway. Okay, all right. Okay, you're going to play... Uh, Gonna play hardball with me, huh? Do we actually put any materials down? No? Good. Alright, this isn't gonna flood, no matter what, because this is not a strong enough source. So what we'll do instead. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do this for right now. That'll be fine. And then this will just become another staircase down. Where's the actual door? There we go. Alright. Boy, what a uh what a, what a dumb thing this ended up being. 
So I guess I really don't want all of this detonated at once after all, because I want all the I want all the water to come down here. But we are going to need bad water to keep detonating stuff. I am glad, though, that this, at the very least, is going to exist. We have 1,200 water stored up. We've got food. Uh, we're looking, looking pretty okay. Can't really complain. I imagine we're going to get some pretty long droughts uh, coming up pretty quick. So it's going to be a good thing that we did a little bit of this work. If uh, it does mean that it's not going to be as exciting of a video here. But that's fine. As long as no beavers get contaminated. The other bad thing about the drought is we're not going to have power for all of this. Which means we're going to have to resort to putting in these windmills, which take up a whole bunch of space. And don't really... Uh, don't really put out that much power. We don't have uh, we don't have paper yet, and I don't have the science to unlock this either. So I guess that's okay. Um, that's gonna go here. Which actually, before we get to that part, I'm gonna have to have this constructed, and then we can just put another one of these here. And then I think if this is here, yeah, I can put one there. But I'm not going to worry about either of these quite yet. we got enough stuff going on. And yes, before anybody asks, I have removed the stairs that let them get down here. We still have these, and it's not a bad tide, so we're not going to have to worry about it, thankfully. Still no progress has been made here. Oh, because I did not prioritize underneath. Okay. Well, you know how it goes. Can't always win. Well, the good news is that we have our herbalist ready to go. Uh, we have this large pile. I guess I should prioritize by haulers there. Set to supply. So our wood supply problems really shouldn't be a thing anymore. Did they actually plant this? Oh, it's out of range. Okay. All right. Never mind. That's no longer relevant. <laughs> completely, completely irrelevant right there. That's okay. There we go. These logs, actually, this one needs to be set to, and it is. Okay, then I guess these are just overflow. That will work out quite well. So we are, oh, too far from the, wait, what? Oh, because I disconnected this. Okay. All right, well, I guess we have to fix that then. That's why they hadn't been doing it, because they couldn't. Can't get mad at them for that. That's not fair. All right, so we have 1,300 water. I imagine it's going to be a pretty long drought. But 1,300, well, 1,200 now should be should be enough. Food-wise, I am just incredibly unbothered about food. We have so many grilled potatoes relative to the size of our population. Let's find out how long this drought's going to be. 14 days, all right. Okay, could be worse. Could definitely be worse. That should, I believe, take up about as much time as we have left for the rest of this episode. So that's going to work out well. It's just unfortunate that this is uh, the situation we find ourselves in for bad water. Only this, this little bit right here. I probably should have built a dam for the bad water. I know, it's, I know it sounds really insane. Also, it would have just immediately flowed out this side. But oh, there's a lot more bad water sources than I had uh, realized. He says, while well, going to areas that have no bad water sources... Yeah, we got two there. We've got two here. And then one. Is it really just those five? Is that it? All right. Well, whatever. Ah, uh, yes. It seems in my hubris I have forgotten, once again, that this flows out. So let's, um, let's automate this before we get too stupid with it, shall we? Alright. Up it goes again. That, um, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty dumb. Pretty dumb. But now we're, uh, we're looking good. I completely forgot that this was a thing. Uh, that's gonna go all the way up so it doesn't get suctioned out. 
still waiting on logs. Wow. I guess the logs are kind of a, uh, a long-term problem, huh? All right, so Tapper Shack, um, this is going to move. In fact, since this is already set up right here, I'm going to, and this might, might be an unpopular move, but I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these, and we're going to start planting... Uh, we're going to start planting maple trees up here. Maple trees and some pines. And what I'm going to do is up here, I'm going to put the tapper shack kind of uh, right here. And then we're going to have to, since we're not going to be cutting the trees down, I can put a temporary forester over here and take care of all of that. Uh, once we have a little bit more in the way of uh, dynamite, then we can set this area. I'm actually going to pause the centrifuge. We need to just exclusively make explosives with this with the bad water we're about to be pumping out because this is not going to last very long here yeah, prioritized by haulers get this stuff out of here let's go man get pumping you have a solemn duty yeah so get the haulers to come in out of that i guess i probably should should i spend resources on making a medium tank up here i feel like we're going to want to I feel like that just makes sense. Set that to supply. Uh, prioritize building that thing. Because I know th this is going to get pumped out pretty quickly. But we're going to want this in the future. Especially once this becomes a rig. Which I'm not entirely sure how that works. But uh, we definitely are going to want to take advantage of that. So that's looking okay. They're in the process of removing these. As we knew. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, yeah, maples take a really long time to grow, so I'm going to start planting those. Uh, Got to leave a space open here, and we're going to leave a path open here. So we'll plant, we'll plant these guys right here. Get those growing immediately. Tapper Shack should be fine to handle. If it's here, should be fine to handle all of this up there, and it won't be an issue. And it's still on the path; it's pretty close. This is set to cut down. We don't want to cut any of this down. Okay, that's solved. That needs to not be cut down. That needs to not be cut down. That needs to not be cut down. And these chestnut trees, that was already there. Um, I guess I could plant a couple next to this other lodge if I really wanted to. Not really any reason to do it, but there's also no reason not to do it, so might as well. Okay, tapper shack, tapper shack, tapper shack. And just as I thought, that will work beautifully right there. Uh, this guy, Lumberjack Flag, can go away. And we'll plant one more chestnut tree right here. That will work out just fine. I'm going to uh, have this go a little bit further back. Because what we're going to do is we are going to place a tank for maple syrup right here because they can gather the resin and the maple syrup, and I'm going to do a little warehouse. Not, not not a big one, just a small one for the pine resin as well. Because right now I have them taking up this big medium warehouse, but honestly, I don't think we're going to need to get the uh, treated planks in any sort of real capacity until the late game if we decide to do mines. and like, Folktales mines are not really that good. So I don't think we're going to need to worry about it. Uh, Lumberjack flags here can also go away because none of these trees are going to have to be cut down. They can go do other jobs. And at least we're making science right now. That's good. That is a very, very welcome thing. Okay, and we're doing bad water here. We're making explosives, kind of. This needs to be prioritized by haulers. That'll take care of that real quick. Okay, storage. Medium tank. I guess... I guess this works okay. I can just put a small warehouse right here. Call that for pine resin. Set to supply. This can be for the maple syrup. Also set to supply. And that is going to work out really quite nicely. Let's plant the rest of these maple syrup trees. Maple syrup trees. Maple trees. That's what it's called. And we probably are going to need additional space as time goes by to grow these things. But for right now, the population that we have, this is perfectly fine. 
you know, they can't build that. They can't build that too far from a district. Is this really not connected? Or is this actually too far? I find it hilarious that this is too far to build, but they would walk over here to then go drown themselves in bad water. Well, sometimes people just make bad choices. Now that's, that's connected there. That's fine. Maple trees are growing. Um, we already have so much pine resin. I'm going to deprioritize. Hey, it's Ford Prefect. Uh, I can deprioritize this job. We're going to start cutting these trees down. But I, I did want to get the pines planted over here before I did that. Because while I don't think we're going to go through the 257 pine resin we have before it can start growing again, it, there's no reason to just get rid of it if you don't have something that absolutely has to be built in that place at that exact moment in time. So that's going to be fine. All right, carrots, again, food is looking perfectly fine. I guess we could stand have some more. But that is probably more of a thing to do with only having the one farmhouse than anything else. In fact, this should be prioritized by haulers now that we have six of these guys. Uh, I am going to keep uh, these two unemployed because one of them is going to have to work at the lumberjack flag here. And we also have these two things paused over here. Uh, for when those become necessary. Uh, so far, everything is looking pretty good. We're on our way to having another one of these windmills. But first, of course, we have to have the water wheel finished. And it's almost done. Almost, being the uh, operative term there. Needs another six logs. We'll get that taken care of hopefully soon. Yep. And of course, it's not going to generate any power without water going through it. But now we can put in our straight power shaft and then follow that up with a windmill. But I, I do want them to actually finish this before that gets done. It should not be a problem. There we go. And that will be connected there. Looking good, looking good. And then these two will be uh, making a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of power there. I'm going to go ahead and pause. Um, I think metal wise, I'm going to pause that too, just because we don't really need to be spending that much power on it. I want to focus on making the dynamite. I think it needs to be our biggest priority for the time being. So I'm going to keep two of the lumber mills open and the explosives factory, and that's it. Because we have a lot of exploding to do over here. And I think they're working on this, yes. Hey, these, uh, <laughs> these double floodgates got put in. So uh, that's good. And we have these guys. Which one is the master here for the advanced? There we go. This one is set when the height is below zero contamination, uh, then it's open. And when it's above one, then it's closed. So this needs to be the opposite. These should pretty much just flip like simultaneously. Unfortunately, I can't link them to the same uh, stream gauge. So we are going to have to put another one in, but that'll be easy enough to just put one there. Then this will just pop open as soon as this one pops closed and then immediately shunt water out should not be an issue whatsoever make that nice and easy and since this is a drought do we have do well i haven't even researched this but i do have the science uh planks wise we need to make some more planks but i could replace these with triple floodgates before we have a bad tide i think it's what we're going to want to do now we will get some back so let's go ahead and do that let's research the triple floodgates and then I'll have them grab these uh, spare materials. Should be should be enough to make another uh, another one. Should be all right because this is about to be completely empty of water anyway. How's we uh, how's we doing here? Looking good. We actually uh, this is all all good water here now. We've pumped all the bad out of it. It's not really anything else we can do. So we're out of bad water. We have 12, we have 12 units of bad water left. We have two units of explosives completed. 
Yeah, so we're really not going to be in a great spot. I, so what I need to do is I need to make sure that this becomes more of a priority than... Did I do this correctly? Yes. Uh, I need this to connect. I need this to be specifically lower priority. Because I want to have an outlet channel for bad water in the event that uh, it comes quickly. So that's going to work nicely. This will go here. This will go here. And I know I'm going to have to reprogram these. That's fine. I knew that's what was going to happen when I got into this. Stream gauge attached. So above high contamination, the height should be zero. Below low contamination, the height should be two. Should be all the way up. Contamination low threshold can be one. Contamination high threshold can also be one. So as soon as it detects any contamination, it opens. And if there's no contamination, it shuts. We might get a little bit of splishy, splashy stuff here, but I think we don't need to really be that concerned about it. Can I actually go ahead and attach? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. So we just have to make sure the height above high contamination for this one is set to 3. Contamination threshold 1%. And then this is all fine as well. So this way we don't have to worry about droughts or anything affecting this because this will always be closed if it's not contaminated. This will always be open if it's not contaminated. So that's all we need to worry about. And all that water goes away. Uh, this is still keeping the trees wet, so that's good. Got three days left. All right. This has never, never skipped a beat. Got 1,200 water still. That is fantastic. So I, I wish we could have gotten a little bit more with this, but uh, it does take some time to get all of that taken care of. It's just the way it goes. So we're working on this. Planks-wise, we have plenty. And even that water's gone. This still has, I believe, yep, our little hidey holes right here still have some water in them. That's good. Yeah, now that we're in the spot here, we can start raising this. There we go. We're, we're looking really, really nice here, folks. Okay, we're making more than enough power for these two. This is, thanks to the smart power mod, uh, not doing anything because we don't have any bad water and we can't really get any more for the time being. But this will be able to operate pretty much full time. And then this will be, I guess, our backup bad water pump which I will actually, um, oh, I can pause this when a drought starts and when a temperate starts, and I can unpause, unpause it when a bad tide starts. That's going to be the smart thing to do. So we'll go ahead and just pause this. It should only unpause when a bad tide starts. So that will be smart. Whereas this one can just run all the time, theoretically. Yeah, all of, all of the everything was just completely sucked up. Yeah, this is looking nice here. We'll get the rest of these in place one by one, as it were. Now that this is all dried up, we can go ahead and... Uh... Oh, now I can't set this off because this is the only way to access the rest of, <laughs> the rest of this channel. Well, that's fine, I suppose. What I need to do is I now need to make... Uh, I guess this guy, this guy could be a priority, a priority explosive as soon as that gets back up and running. Because I want to be able to retain at least a little bit of water so I can actually plant the rest of these trees here. Because that was going to be a, uh, going to become a problem pretty quick. I don't think this can still get poisoned. At least not until we have uh, everything else taken care of here. I was going to have this just be completely, uh, completely moved out here. This is attached to this. Yes. So really what we should be doing is we should be moving this out a little bit. Yeah, that should be probably, I guess right here would work. So all I would have to do is just place 
the two floodgates like this. Yeah, that's going to work pretty nicely. And then I can just uh, build another floodgate going this way. That should be okay. That will keep the bad water far enough away from this to where it should not uh, should not kill these trees. I think. Could be wrong, but I don't think so. Okay, so this probably is going to be more than enough pine trees. And I'll just go ahead and plant the rest of these as maples. Should be all good to go. Oh, these are oak trees that we never cut down. Hmm. Mm, I got rid of my uh got rid of my lumberjack flag. Alright, well I'll tell you what. I will cut those two down only by themselves. And then we'll get rid of the rest of this. How's that sound? All right, so the water is back. Uh, we will be wrapping up this episode in just a second here. Uh, I kind of want to see what the next uh, the next cycle is going to be. We do have a couple more minutes, so we can let it ride just a little bit longer. See what happens here. So I also want to see. There we go. That's going to fill up with water and uh, make it possible for us to take care of these. Is this also? No, that's a pine seedling. Okay, that's fine. And we should see, yep, there's that weird spillover of water again that isn't going to come all the way down here quite. It's going to get close. How do I have this set up? Okay, that's just the same thing we were already doing. I'm going to get rid of these two and this little bit so we can actually still gather all of this. Pause that construction. And set this up as a priority gather. Yeah, hopefully they can actually get something done here. All right, and now we can plant trees. Should see that happen in pretty uh, quick succession here. Fill this up and nicely again. Manually open this because I haven't automated that yet. These are set to, why is these set to 1.5? These should be set to... Uh, okay, bad tide ends, drought ends should be set to one. I don't have an automatic thing or a timer, right? No, so these should be set to one. I don't know why that was set some other way. Well, either way, this is working. Looking quite nice here. Yeah, we've got a little bit more to do in uh, getting that taken care of. Still got some uh, logs to pick up, but it's not really that big of a deal. I, I do wish they would uh, rip and come grab those. Looks like that's what they're doing. Okay, floodgate. And this one is going to be attached to that guy. And we'll just... Uh, we'll just get that taken care of. 1% contamination, 0%. There you go. All right. Five more logs. Get that done. Where are they putting the rest of these? Do they do over here, or are they coming down? Okay, they're going down there. I I think... Uh, I, I, I know I keep adjusting this, but... I think it's going to be more important for us to get this whole thing taken care of. Now that we can make dynamite again. So as long as I have the one here to store a little bit of water, we should be okay. Should not be an issue. Now, power-wise, we have enough to run the rest of this. I'm not going to turn the centrifuge back on because, well, we don't need it. Uh, planks were almost full up on. Yep. So let's... Um, yeah, let's just turn the rest of this back on as best as we can manage here. Because we have a bad tide coming in three days. That is where we will leave today's episode. Once that gets taken care of. So, yeah, we're going to have to have those two built. Uh, this is slowly, slowly getting put in place. Again, our water stores are 
perfectly fine here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make this whole side like the lowest possible priority. But I, I do think, I do think we're going to want to have a, a little bit more. As soon as they have this ready to go, I'm definitely, definitely prioritizing <laughs> building the rest of this stuff. But we, we really do need to make sure this is completely open so we avoid disaster coming up that way. And neither of these are finished. Why is that? Why is that? Okay, logs and planks. We have plenty of planks, plenty of logs. It's just a matter of actually finishing this. Because this was deemed more important, and it kind of is. To prevent disaster. But they are still working on this. That's fine. It's just a matter of what can get done and when and where. And of course, we can't forget this forester can only plant so much. So <laughs> I know this is this is going to seem really stupid and wasteful, but I've got to get rid of the medium tank so I can put in the forester. <sighs> this already had pine resin in it. Look, do as I say, not as I do. It seems to be uh, better advice for right now. Okay, so this, this needs to be finished. We've got 1.2 days and then some. That should be okay. Good, 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 good. We only have a little bit left. Just, what, six of these? It looks like they're in the process of placing those down. That's already got some. All right, all right. We can feel good about this. We're looking okay. Still can't quite get rid of this yet. Not quite yet. All right, how are we looking... Just need a couple more logs. Okay, that's going to be fine. We're getting very, very close here. 0.7 days. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to be the bad guy. And I'm going to go to 24-hour working hours. Just so we can get this taken care of. going to be very important to have this... Uh, I mean, it's, it's obviously not automatically going to just turn everything poison, but... We are so incredibly close. We just have this one left. Just the one left. So I know we can make it happen. Let's get that last piece in. Looks like he's in there going to do it. And then, yeah, we can immediately go back to 18. Not going to be concerned about it anymore. This can get blasted out. Beautiful. Stairs go away. Bad tide started 15 days. Pause the game. We don't have any hidden staircases, right? Outside of this one that we no longer need, which is going away. Okay, so it's not going to be possible for our beavers to become contaminated. Never again. This is attached to this stream gauge. This is set to height above high contamination, full height. Uh, contamination thresholds 1%. This stream gauge is attached to this floodgate. And as soon as it gets to 1%, it's going to raise it up all the way. This stream gauge is attached to this floodgate, and that's going to do uh, the opposite. It's going to lower this as soon as it detects contamination, and that's going to shunt all the bad water out. Uh, this has plenty of room to get out. Uh, I will go ahead. Of course, I would put that there. Idiots. Now I've got to do the, the dumb trick to get this back where it needs to go. There we go. Yeah, this needs to be blasted up, but we're not going to worry about that. And then... Uh, since we still have a little bit of time, a little bit of time, I'm going to high prioritize uh, a bunch of this. I know we're not going to get that much done, but that is where we're going to uh, see our maximum benefit. This has already been raised up as high as it goes. This is set to 1.5, so it doesn't overflow everything quite so hard, but it probably still will overflow. But we'll get this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, get that nice and filled up. We don't want that to overflow. That's already up to 1.5. It's continuing to come down. Yep, cresting once again. I'm going to put that up to 2.0. And then at a point in time, we will set that to maximum height. But we're not quite there. Just detonating that as... Uh, time allows. 
just so we don't get caught by surprise. I mean, 15 days is not going to kill us, but as much water as we can have stored here, uh, the better. All right. Water should be... Should be coming around yet. Yeah, looks like we're just about there. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start the sign off right here because we are just about out of time. Really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch these videos as always. Very, very valued. And uh, just want to make sure you understand that. And also want to thank our Beard Boosters for their support and all of the uh, fantastic stuff they contribute, making it possible for me to keep doing this stuff because it really does take a long time. I know it might seem might seem kind of silly. It's like, oh, it's just a video game. You, you only play it, play it an hour and blah, blah, blah. But it the, the time creeps up on you. And I, I do spend a lot of time reading comments and looking at different things and making sure that I'm not, uh, not being a complete idiot when I'm playing the game. I know that might seem kind of a... Uh, Kind of a controversial statement, but that's how it is. And look, our uh, our triple floodgates worked beautifully. And look at this, look at this. We are, uh, we're good to go, folks. Everything is looking great. We've got plenty of storage here. I am going to go ahead and uh, raise that up all the way to 2.0. There we go. Yeah, this is great stuff. Got a lot of good stuff done today. Very glad you could join me. Don't forget, I have launched the community survey, and I would really, really appreciate it if you took the time to fill it out. It should not take you too long, but uh, I do have a couple of uh, in-depth questions for you to answer about uh, the content you consume on the channel on other parts of YouTube and stuff you might want to see in the future. So please do uh, take a look at that. There is a link in the community tab on the channel, and I will be accepting responses through the end of the week. And then at the end of the week, we're going to have a video where I go over the results and talk about what's coming next. As always, I, I do really value your input. And as I always say, this is a let's play channel, not a watch me play channel. And I want you to be involved as much as you can. So uh, we would, again, really appreciate you taking the time to give me your input and your feedback on how things are going, because then that's just going to make it better for everybody else. But yep, that is all I got. Stay safe, whatever it is you're doing. Have fun. And I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow for some Water Beaver Chaos and then Thursday for a new series that you'll find out when it goes live. Yep, take care. Bye-bye.